Oh. Sorry, some technical issues there. I didn't have the correct screen loaded. Anyway, this is Space Adventure Cobra, and I'm Mr. Anderson. I'm very excited to be playing this. This is on the Sega CD. It is a adventure game graphic novel starring Cobra. Cobra is based, Space Adventure Cobra is based off of manga, which was then released into a bunch of animations and movies. For those that don't know much about it, uh, this is about, in the far future, an office worker named Johnson is bored of his serene and dull life of the daily grind of work. His robotic servant, Ben, suggests that he goes to TM Corporation, or Trip Movie Corporation, which basically allows you to relive a dream as though it was reality. Very similar to Total Recall. Uh, Johnson asks to be king of a harem, who man doesn't, what man doesn't want to be a king of a harem, and to command a battle star. However, he dreams of becoming a legendary space pirate, name as Cobra. And in his ventures, he gets a bunch of treasure, gold, makes love to a bunch of women, and has a android partner named Lady, Lady Armoroid. In his adventures, Cobra allows a leader of a guild known as Captain Falcon to escape, which later comes to bite him in the ass when he wakes up from his dream and realizes that it wasn't a dream. It was suppressed memories of his past. Yes, Johnson is actually the legendary space pirate Cobra. Now, we are reawakening from his dream. He meets up with Falcon again, who, no who notices who he is, and it kicks off the entire adventure. It's pretty cool. I read a little bit of the manga. I don't know how much this is going to coincide with the manga, but I'm very excited to start playing it. Without further ado, let's go. Oh, actually, on side note, there is no walkthrough on this game. So if I do get caught, uh, stuck, I'm on my own here. So let's start, shall we? And if you don't love that opening, you must be dead in the head. The name is Cobra. A pirate, a renegade, a master of the universe. He owns space, cruising stars with armoroid lady riding shotgun. Wasting the galaxy patrol and leaving the path of destruction in his favorite sport. The price on his head is out of this world, but he slips the noose every time. Nobody's gonna bring this guy in alive. Nobody. Trouble is, most people think he's already out of the race. He vanished from the face of the galaxy three years ago and hasn't been heard from since. But this is no ordinary man. This is Cobra, the man of many faces. And now he's got a disguise to fool those out to do him in. He's biding his time on Earth, waiting to exact his sweet revenge. They wanted to play hardball, and now it's his turn at bat. No one messes with the man. And when it means his machine, Turtle, is turned tuned to perfection, watch out. He has just one thing to say. If you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. Cobra is his name. Yes, Cobra is one mean mother. Ah, simulated 3D. The 80s were known for leotards and cod pieces, also leg warmers. I think that's the bike they're referring to when they talk to talk about turtle. Watch out for speeder bikes. Watch out for that tree! Ah, the crazy horse. There it is. And that Stokey never leaves his mouth. Hmm, let's look. The pub. So this is the famous crazy horse. Look. The bikes. Slow night, huh? Look. Behind. This is the way I got here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. Continue. 
Let's go back. Let's think. I promised to meet Lady here. He's referring to Lady Armoroid. Hmm. I don't know how close this is going to co coincide, but I'll notice some things. Look, the pub. So this is the famous crazy horse. Hmm, uh, hmm. Let's think. I haven't seen Lady for about a year. Let's move. Enter bar. And with some footstep sounds that cues that we're walking into the bar. And I love those swing doors. The music in this game is absolutely 80s. I love it. Ah, the guy at the bar looks familiar. If you've read the manga, he was in the first issue. Let's look. The bar. Now where's that lady? Look. Customers. Those are their bikes outside, huh? Hmm. For some reason, the guy on the right with the beak reminds me of someone from McDonald's commercials. The counter. Hey, bartender. Sorry, sometimes my controller likes to stick and double tap. The entrance. No one's around. Looks pretty seedy. Think. I'm supposed to meet Lady here. But as usual, I'm late. Oh, okay, that's another happening of my controller sticking. Look. The bar. What a hole. Those characters with the guns look really, real friendly. I'm sure they do. Let's move to the bar. Look. Sir, you've got camel dick. Bartender. I love the animation. It's real good. Man, this guy's a blob. Look. Customer at the counter. What? A gorilla boozing it up. Now, in the manga, he says this guy looks like a dog face. And he pisses him off. Maybe that isn't latex. Maybe it is fur. The liquor bottles. What kind of poison do you serve here? Those bottles look suspicious. Customers at table. The scum carrying the guns are waiting for the show to begin. Yes, Cobra is a wanted man. Hmm. Look, let's look at the bartender again. Man, okay, same thing. He looks familiar. I think I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, like the manga. Talk. Bartender. Yes, sir. What can I get you? A nice cold glass of milk. You hear that? The little brat wants some milk. <laughs> hmm, what you laughing at? Why don't you order a kitty meal, too? Sure. We can't ignore this guy. Let's talk. Lay off, will ya? I know I'm a wimp. Hmm. Milk, it's good for your bones. Mr. Cobra isn't good for your bones. Has my steel beauty arrived yet? An armoroid? Come to think of it, she stopped by around noon. Huh. Lady. Did you see... Did she leave a message? Ask Pigris. He was chatting it up with a woman. Hmm. Pigris. It's most likely hanging around outside. Okay. Look. Entrance. Where is everyone? Hmm. Can we leave? Bartenders are nothing but lying scum. Let's ask again. Pigri. Pigris. A fat, wobbly bird. Okay. Lady. Too bad she's a robot. Or what? Okay. Hmm. Counter customers. 
How do I get back? I'm sure I've seen him somewhere before. No, let's continue. Look. Bar. Only three customers. There's no one else. Ask. Uh, hmm. Look. Counter customer. Hmm. What do I do here? Am I missing something here? That's about Pigarus again. Okay. He's just gonna say the same thing? Wicked dudes. What's the matter, pal? Did your girlfriend tell you to take a hike? You better run out home. I hear your mama calling. You might have a run in with my fist. Aw, oh, why do you have to be so mean? You know, I like fuzzy animals. Who you're talking to? Yeah, punk. Yeah, a stuffed gorilla. Shut up, smartass. Unless you want to get sliced and diced. Them's fighting words, kid. That guy's an idiot. Doc ain't fooling around. He's got an electro knife. He'll cut him. Come at me, bruh. <laughs> Look. <clears throat> Doc. He's good with the steel, huh? That's not even steel, though. Table customers. <laughs> Can't wait to see blood, can ya? He's playing it smart. I'm gonna chop you up so bad they're gonna need a microscope to find the pieces. Sort of like your penis? Big bad monkey's got a toy knife. You should be careful. You don't hurt yourself. Ah! Kiss your butt goodbye! Better think of something quick. Fight! We'll do a kick. <clears throat> Let's move the cursor out of the way. Surprise! Yes, I have the advantage of range with my long legs. Hmm, not so tough now, huh? Hmm, gutted himself with his own knife. You want some more punks? Come on, show me what you got. Talk. Well, I'm waiting. Hmm, we got ourselves a badass here. Nice shirt, You're where'd you get it? Goodwill? Let's party, gentlemen. Fight. I'll throw out a punch. Oh. Enemy strike. Oh, I got hit. How can this be happening to me? I'm supposed to be immortal. Huh. Looks like we lost. Ouch, that hurts. I guess it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. Hmm, okay. That was a lovely nightmare. I hope it wasn't some sort of bad omen. Hmm, talk. Well, I'm waiting. So we can die in this. Guess we're gonna have to whip out our special weapon. You're dead. Let's party, gentlemen, once again. Let's show them what we really got. Let's use the Psycho Gun. This is it, folks. The Psycho Gun. This is where you fall down. Oh, hey, lady. Pixelated booty. Nice shot! Domingo. 
Bravo! What a fine kill! A headshot! He caught one in the stomach. Doc, I took care of him. Wait a minute. I know this face. The wanted list. Woman. Check her out. Hmm. Well, let's look at the bust first. Mm -mm. I could spend the rest of my life between those. <laughs> you perv. Feet. Those feet are a work of art. How can you see them in the boots? Gun. A recoilless laser cannon. Super hot gun. One shot will drop an elephant. A super hot gun for a super hot babe. Face. What a babe. She has these blue eyes that'll melt ya. Think. Hope this disguise works. If she clues in, I'll have some explaining to do. After all, there's an astronomical reward on my head. Hmm, talk. Woman. My name's Jane. Jane Royal. Yeah, well, I'm Joe Smith. Let's get her a beer. Are you usually so hard on the shaker? No, I just can't stop these nervous twitches. I had hold of the sheriff. He'll be here soon. Ah. Think. You're joking, ain't you? Me and the sheriff don't see eye to eye. He ain't setting foot in here. Let's leave the bar. In the manga, his exit was much more flashy. He just disappears. Wait, don't you want your share for helping me capture them? No thanks, you keep it. Consider it my treat. Wait a minute. Didn't he say she had blue eyes? Maybe I'm just wrong. Let's look at the bar. Ladies run out of time. I gotta hit the road. The question is, what's next? Let's get on the bike and skedaddle. Hmm, look ahead. The road leads into the forest. Look behind. That's why I got here. And let's start our engines, lady and, ladies and gentlemen. Look ahead. Huh? What's that? Huh. It's a... Penguin slash elf creature. What a freak of nature. Talk. Can it talk? Move over, Beak Breath, or you'll get hurt. Well, excuse me for crossing the road. You sure look stupid with that cigar hanging out of your mouth. Hmm, you sure look stupid with that big old nose of yours. Why did the weird creature cross the road? So I didn't hit it with my bike. Say what? Uh, well, I really didn't mean it like that. Okay, same thing. What? You're... Pigris? Oh, it's Pigris. I live in this forest. <clears throat> hmm, did you see Lady? Lady said I look for, y look for your tombstone in the graveyard. My tombstone? How come nobody told me I was dead? Hmm, okay, already said this. <clears throat> Graveyard. Why in the forest? Go straight along this road. You can't miss it. <clears throat> That's the end of the message. Oh, he's got little pigris with him. Kinda cute, actually. All right, off to the graveyard. Think. 
the turtle is probably waiting in the graveyard. Huh. Look ahead. The graveyard's up ahead. Think. Okay. Look behind. That's the way I got here. The graveyard is up ahead. Then let's take off. Adventure games of this time frame are very weird and odd in the things you have to do to progress. Does this spike make my butt look fat? Now this is where the reveal would happen to what, who he is. In the manga, at least. Look. Graveyard. The thing I do for mo- the things I do for money. Haha. <laughs> Search. Lady. No one in sight. Search. Turtle. The place is huge. I'll take it. It'll take a zillion years to find it. Think. I can't believe Pigris lied. Huh. You just met him. How did you know he was going to tell the truth anyway? Alright. Let's give a look behind, just in case. I just came down this road. Search. Cobra's tombstone. Here we go. I'll leave no stone unturned to find it. Search. Cobra's tombstone. Okay. Move. We can move now. Maybe I could shed some light on the situation. Use. Light. Ah, that was pretty clever. Ah, we could actually look around. Marilyn Monroe, 362636. That do the trick. Maybe that's her sizes and her bust. That's her measurements. Move. James Garden. Who the hell is he? Huh. I don't see a name. Oh, he's giving himself a flower. Area. People are just dying to get in here. Haha. <laughs> Look, tombstone inscription. Here lies Cobra, the immortal man. Obviously not so mortal since he has a tombstone. Oh, poor thing. Immortal, yet dead as a doornail. The Rose. A red rose. Who put it here? Oh, I thought you did. And we have some goo. Check. Rose. Talk about honoring the dead. Grave. Hmm. This rock here. It's covered with that sticky stuff. Check. Okay. Guess not. Oh. Go back. Look. The black liquid. Maybe it's android spunk. Sure is sticky. The rose. A red rose. Who put it here? Maybe we're going to get the same thing? Yes, we're getting the same thing. Okay. Looks like we've done everything here. Grave. Hmm. Hmm, smells good. Not even wilted. Must have been placed here a little while ago. Hmm. Mm. 
Same engine oil that the turtle uses. Ah, baby lady put the rose here. Take. Let's take the tombstone with us. It'll take more than a little elbow grease to remove it. Take the rose. Huh? Why does this iron plate have my mark on it? Huh. No, can't take that. Let's check iron plate. Very interesting. This button opens and closes the tomb. I bet it leads underground. Wonder what's down there? Maybe the corpse of Cobra? Ah, it's Lady Jane. Pretty weird, my friend, visiting a cemetery in the wee hours of the morning. Could say the same thing about you. What'd you do? Tell me. Anyone who could kill Doc as easily as you did is worth following around. I got curious about your identity. I've never heard of Jake Smith. Besides, I understand that the Cobra Pirate is buried around here. Maybe in this very cemetery. Oh. You like you know your way around here? What do you know? He died three years ago. That's his grave, isn't it? Look, the gun. If she shoots, I can kiss my head goodbye. I'm pretty vulnerable where I am, Jane. The gun's pointed right at my chest. If I move, I'm toast. Hmm. Jane. Okay. I know she's good. Oh, wait. Talk. Dark cemetery is no place for me. You'd better get home before something bites you on the face. <laughs> Don't worry, I know how to take care of myself. But tell me, why are you hanging around Cobra's grave? Pay my respects. The fact is, I'm one of the biggest fans. I thought I'd pay my respects by dropping off this red rose. Oh, shot my stogie. You think I'm a fool? I heard you call out the name Lady. And as I recall, that also happens to be the name of Cobra's partner. I figure this guy Cobra is so tough. He wouldn't be that easy to kill. He might have pulled a fast one. He could still be alive somewhere. Maybe even with a new identity. Some kind of drifter with no traceable background. I have no idea what you're talking about. And yes, in that picture, she has blue eyes. In the other picture, back at the bar, she had green eyes. Hmm, that's strange. She's really on the ball, huh? Jeez, what a bitch. That was just a threat. Next time, I'll put one right through your heart. Hold on. Why are you so hostile? If you are Cobra, why don't you draw your psycho gun? Or do you still insist you're Joe Smith? Hmm, the glit in her eye tells me she's on to me. Huh? Crap. Area. I feel the presence of people. Five, six, no, seven of them. Huh. Jane, the gun was blasted out of her hand. Oh no, it's them. I've been followed. Thanks, I really appreciate your cooperation. So you were tailed, huh? Her wrist bleeding. In the forest. Huh, the man from the cutscene. Hey, everybody, check out the boy in blue. Sort of reminds me of Kamen Rider a little. Okay, Mr. Clean, what's up? You're rather shiny. 
His body looks like it's made of crystal. And those golden bones set him off just right. The Claw. I'll get you, Inspector Gadget. That, ca that can opener he uses could sure do some damage. Jane. Scared as a bunny rabbit. Look. His body is transparent. Let's look behind. Aw, oh, snap. Gunman. We're surrounded. Hands up. The next bullet will be aimed at your head. Hmm. What should we do? Raise our hands or don't raise our hands? Let's placate them by raising our hands. I told you. If you hang around a graveyard, you're gonna run into a ghost. I wish it were a ghost. We'd be in less trouble. These are assassins from the Pirate Guild. <laughs> Jane Royal, I've been looking all over for you. I'm not familiar with that name. Who am I supposed to be? We both know there's an easy way to prove your identity. It slices, it dices, it removes identities. You pervert. Treasure, you said. Playing games. You're coming with me, Jane Royal. Now she has green eyes again. Hmm, and what's this treasure they talk about? Space Mafia. They're not real pirates. Like yours truly. They're second rate space trash. Boy. His reputation precedes him. He's a top guild assassin. Jane. A mysterious woman with a tattoo on her back. Hmm, this is reminding me a lot of Waterworld. They're coming to take you away. Hmm, looks like your leotard's giving you a wedgie too, Jane. Looks like they're not after me, really. Let's look at Crystal Boy. Asshole, my words exactly. Bodyguards. This ought to be fun. Talk, Crystal Boy. I don't know what the story is here, but since I'm not involved, I really shouldn't get going. My mother will be worried. All right, you can leave, but I'm warning you, forget everything you've seen here. No problem, pal. I got a bad memory anyway. Lucky for you. Go home, have your mother tuck you into bed. Hmm. Luckily they don't know who I am, because then they'd be after me more than her. I don't know what the story is here, but since I'm not involved, oh. I really should get going. We've already seen this. My mother will be worried. Alright, you can leave, but I'm warning you. Forget everything you've seen here. No problem, pal. I got a bad memory anyway. Lucky for you. Go home and have your mother tuck you into bed. Think. Guild. Okay, Space Mafia. Boy. Chicken shit. He'd shoot you in the back just as soon as shake your hand. Oh. While they are... Preoccupied, they think I'm gonna walk home, let's fight. Remember, rule number one is... When in trouble, blast your way out. That's right. Ah, dodge! Oh, somersault! Could this end in a kick? What now? Psycho gun! Mega Man's blaster.
Huh. Ha! Huh. Take that, space scum. Let him up like my stogie. I never seen anyone move so fast. Can't touch this. He must be superhuman. I'm Cobra, bitches. Trick or treat. What's on the menu? Some ass kicking. Let's feed him a little bit more of our psycho gun. Cobra, don't run away. Psycho gun kicks ass. The enemy tries to dodge. The psycho gun bender. Tostado. I bet it like Beckham. That's impossible. He's supposed to be dead. But no one else can use that weapon, so it has to be him. That guy is Cobra. I found him. I knew I was right. Now, if I can only get him to help me, everything will work out. I'm sure of it. Once again, blue eyes. What's on the menu? Fight! No time to think! Good. The more the merrier. What's on the menu? Think! I like a good fight, but this is getting ridiculous. Ahead. I don't want to end up in those graves. Yeah, Kamikaze City. Behind. Well, how about that? There's my tombstone. Peekaboo. Think. There's a time to fight and a time to run. Run, the turtle, into the grave. Jane, head for my tombstone. Who, me? Yes, you. Move your sweet ass. And it is one fine pixelated sweet ass. <laughs> Look, plate. The switch? Yes, talk, Jane. Isn't this your grave? Yep, but I'm still alive. Flesh and bones, and all. Oh, okay, we already read this. Wait, again. The switch. Let's hit it. The turtle should be under here. Push button. Open sesame. Hmm, I wonder why they're not firing at us again. Inside Tombstone. The stairs lead all the way down. Away! Running montage. They're gonna have buns of steel after this, Stairmaster. Sure he does. She must work out. The turtle. Sort of looks like a Metal Gear. Turtle, is it not turtly enough for you? Don't be taken in by her name. The turtle's the fastest ship in the galaxy. Let's board this baby. Hmm, my bike's already aboard. Door to the cockpit. Oh, third lady. Hello, lady. I was expecting you on Amaru. Where have you been and what have you been doing? It 
was a nice night, so I went for a walk. I'm Jane Royal. So, you must be Cobra's partner, the armored lady. Pleased to meet you, Jane. Hmm. Wow, that booty just got more licious. Area. Nice cockpit, huh? Lady. Introducing my wonderful partner, Lady. Lady Armoroid, to be more exact. Lady. Lady, how's the engine running? Not too bad, considering I have touched it for I haven't touched it for three years. Don't worry, I've tuned it up. Okay, let's blow this hellhole. Very progressive music. Sounds like something corn would do. Yes, behold it and marvel. It's the turtle, bitches. Though I remember the ship be called the Tostada, but I might be wrong. A woman's on that ship. We'll catch up with them soon enough. Cobra, eh? A dangerous man to have for an enemy. Uh, the things we do for ladies. <clears throat> hmm. Inside the cockpit. Let's take a look around. The screen. Endless space awaits. Lady. <coughs> Armoid lady. My faithful partner. Room. Nice cockpit, huh? Radar. Radar is clear. Talk. Hmm. Let's look. What's our present location? Could be near Jupiter. Huh. That's not very precise. Guild. These guys don't know how to take no for an answer. Do they? Well, you and the guild are not exactly friends, you know. Turtle. Humming right along, eh? Yes, smooth as a baby's bottom. Jane. Jane, was it? Who is she anyway? A bounty hunter. She's after my scalp. Just your scalp? Why doesn't she take your whole head? Well, look at that head of hair. It's great. It's a head of... Oh, head and shoulders commercial. Okay, uh, let's talk about Jane again. I wish I knew why the guild wants her so badly. Mm, it could be because of the tattoo on her back. They did say that. Hmm, already saw that. Destination. Where are we headed? First, first Jane's got to go. The reward on her head. Not ours. Where is she? Could she be taking a shower? Do me a favor and ask her where she'd like to go. To get off. Huh, maybe she'd like to get off in the shower. Ha 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 ha. Leave room. Let's perf around. Where's the shower? Look. Oh, in room. This is the medical room. Bed. We have a scanner to suit every need. Oh, pretty technologically advanced. A human body scan. Comes in handy sometimes. What's in here? Look. Room. Our computer room. 
huh, what's the piano doing in here? Like the grand piano shape. Like the grand piano shape? Actually, it's a question. Screen. No data. Let's leave the room. Now, where's the shower room? Uh, look. Room. The beautiful bedroom. Oh, we can change per the projection. Pretty cool. Hmm. Leave room. Let's look around, actually. Wall. Multi-screen entertainment. Ah, oh, cool. That'd be actually pretty neat. What's in this room? Oh, yeah. Nothing like a shower scene. Look. Ha ha ha. Our wonderful shower room. It wouldn't be a Japanese adventure game if there wasn't a shower scene. Jane's taking a shower. Chair. Let's sit down and watch. Sit down. Relax. Catch a few rays. Too bad the steam stops me from getting a real close look. Oh, okay. Can't get a real good look at it. So what do we do now? I'll check the other rooms before she finishes her shower. Ah, huh. what's in this room? Hmm. Look. Room. The bike is in the airlock. Airbike. This baby cruises 500 clicks without refueling. Hell of a machine, eh? Now that's fuel economy. The right wall. Port engine room. Left wall. Starboard engine room. Hatch. Here's the exit, in case you need it. Ah, huh. cool. Hmm. We'll go to the port engine room. I don't think we want to go outside. That's space. Look. Room. The port engine room. The turbine produces tons of power. If the batteries hit, the turtle goes nowhere. Huh. I'm sure we're going to have to deal with that a little later. I hope so, at least. That would be pretty cool. Move. Let's check out the starboard engines, engine room. Look. We're now in the starboard engine room. Check out the spinning turbine. Here's the turtle's electrical power source. Ah, huh, cool. Maybe Jane's done her shower? Let's try to go outside. Smarten up, or you'll be stew for some spaceman. Yeah, I think it's kind of hard to breathe out there. Alright, let's check to see if she's done. Huh, she's not done yet. Okay. Clothes. Jane's clothes are scattered all over, but her gun's missing. Maybe she keeps it on her while showering? Cobra, a man even the pirate guild is afraid of. What a surprise to find you're still alive. Surprises me too sometimes. What do you plan to do about it, Miss Bounty Hunter? Turn me over to the Galaxy Patrol and cash in on the big reward. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very friendly thing to do. I need you on my side. Why is she flashing? Oh, okay. Speaking of friendly, I've never seen anyone wear a gun until they took a shower. It's an occupational habit. You can never tell when you might need a little protection. I always use protection, lady. Let's take a look. 
Tsk tsk. Such a waste. A body like that being chased by dogs. Well, speaking of dogs, you're one hell of one, too. Do you know about Captain Nelson's hidden treasure? Sure do. He's my hero. Oh, we've already seen this. Now, the only one complaint I would wish is that they would change the font when someone else is talking. Nelson. When Nelson died 20 years ago, he left behind fortune big enough to buy a gold planet. He had triplet daughters before he died. He etched maps of the hidden treasure on their bodies. Oh, so you're a daughter of Nelson. Uh, Jane. Oh man, this is so sweet. Nelson's daughter, huh? My two sisters and I each have a portion of this treasure map tattooed on our backs. One section means nothing without the other two. I didn't want to look at the tattoo. I want to look at other things. Pretty strange pattern for a tattoo. The map is usually invisible, but it shows up whenever I get excited or whenever my skin temperature rises above a certain level. Well, I'm pretty excited right now. It doesn't look much like a map. One alone doesn't mean a thing. You have to put all three together to form the map. Pretty strange pattern for a tattoo. All right, we've already seen that. I guess we. It's usually invisible, but it shows up whenever I get excited or whenever my skin temperature rises above a certain level. Triplets. Kathy and Dominic are my two younger sisters. Their tattoos are very similar, yet slightly different. We were separated after our father's death. I don't know where she is or what she is doing. How about Kathy? I just found out that my youngest sister is on planet Sid. Can we ask about planet Sid? No, let's ask about Jane. I'm only in this for the reward. I thought I'd be able to find my sisters by star tripping. But then the guild came in, eh? Obviously the guild has discovered your own secret. Yes, they're chasing all three of us to the far corners of the galaxy. Kathy's on planet Sid. But I can't get to her on my own. Cobra, I've been looking for someone like you. Someone strong who isn't afraid of the Pirate Guild. Please, will you help me with my mission? Depends if you ask nicely. Women and money. You've just made me an offer I can't refuse. Then it's a deal. What do you say we split the treasure? How do I... Why do I think that's not going to work out that way? You're on. If I know anything from Conan, the woman always rips you off. Or Lupin. Crystal Boy, what sideshow? Let's see what the computer brings up. Want to see? Sure, after I change. Oh, no, you can stay naked. I'm fine with that. Leave room. Hmm. Can I save? Let's go to the cockpit and save the game. Mm-hmm. Cockpit. I actually did not realize that there was going to be interactive sections like this. That's pretty cool. Let's save. Save file one. Done. Well, thank you for joining me on our first Let's Play of Space Adventure Cobra. Looks like the guild's after Lady Jane, and soon they'll be after my head for the astronomical bounty on it. However, we've discovered three women. Jane's sister, Catherine and Dominique. We have to track them down to find this legendary treasure for a legendary space pirate known as Cobra. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're enjoying, and make sure you have a good night.